Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to do another updated what's in my bag video. We have some new handbags to show you and let's get right into it. So first we'll go over what our bags are and where they're from. Mine is this grey backpack that you will have seen in our Topshop haul so we'll link that below if you'd like to hear about it. And Ellen's, mine it's very cool, is this tote bag from ASOS and it's actually on the back got these little backpack straps and you can also clip together that front part which brings it in sort of to fit nicely on your back if you do wear it as a backpack and I also like to do that when I'm like out shopping or on the main street of town and I just like my bag to be a bit more secure so no one sort of dive in there and it's got a magnetic bit that closes so it's got all these like nifty little additions to your normal tote bag and it's like a really cool nylon mm. fabric so the first thing I have is my blunt umbrella, which is just the best umbrella and living in Auckland, you always have to have an umbrella with you because you never know when it's going to rain. So I also have this Kathmandu umbrella, it's just nice and small, which is what I like. On to something a little bit more exciting, I also have my headphones, so these are some friends headphones, friends. and you may have seen them on my Instagram, because they're so pretty I Instagram them a lot, mm -hmm. and they're the silver tailors, so they're a little bit bigger and what they look like. My headphones are really boring. They're just like the Samsung <laughs> ones really. that come with my phone. I feel like you have all these exciting things and I'm like, yeah, get my do headphones. Sorry, I can't really hear you. <laughs> Next up is my wallet and this is the same one I had in our last What's In My Bag video and it's from the Kardashian collection and I got it on special and I think it's pretty cool. I'm a little bit of a closet Kardashian fan. And here we have some Shop Style Conquer Business cards. Ooh. So fancy. Um, and $2. Woo! Ooh. I also have the same wallet as from our last What's in My Bag video. It's looking a bit dirty. It's looking a bit old and a little bit grotty. But I just haven't found one I kind of like to replace it. I kind of like that it's really flat. Yeah. So, yeah. Next up I have my laptop and my case is from Kathmandu. Oh, it's got some is rare toothpaste on it. I'm pretty sure I don't brush my teeth while on my laptop, but yeah, I really liked this because Kathmandu is like a good quality brand and it really protects my um, laptop pretty well. And my laptop, whoosh, MacBook Air. Highly recommend this laptop for any students or YouTubers who want to edit on the go. So lightweight and it's pretty hefty too. Good battery life. Front. Yep. Today I didn't bring my laptop since I was going to clinic, but you can see it in our previous What's In My Bag video. Today I actually have my 2013 clinical handbook by Dietitians New Zealand. Since I was going to clinic I might need to look up something. Tara's um, doing her masters in dietetics if you didn't know. Yeah. So it's not in everyone's What's In My Bag, <laughs> yeah, that's but something you that's need. something you need. <laughs> I do have like a little notebook, it's a little glittery one from Typo and it's kind of, it's not for anything in particular, just when I need to write something down. $20. It costs $5 for a bottle of Forter juice. There you go. Keeping with the stationary theme, next up is my planner. You would have seen this in our, what was it, April Favourites video because I just love it so much. Love it. Love it. It's kind of big though. I must admit I don't bring it every day, but sometimes it's just like, okay. Right. So my diary doesn't have as much of the Ashley Olsen in New York Minute vibe as Ellen's. It's Good a little goodness. bit smaller um, and it's just got all my to-do lists and I have a lot to do <laughs> before the week is out. So we'll just put that over there. <laughs> so I still have my favorite thermos drink bottle keeps the water cold and it's still going strong. Next random thing is my furry tail, but it's actually a keychain. So I've got my house key and all my locker keys for uni on that. And I just thought it was like a kind of cute, stylish accessory. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also have the book that I'm reading at the moment. This is The Rosie Effect and it is the second book by Graham Simpson. I don't, still don't know how to say his name. I talked about The Rosie Project, which was the first book in this series in our April Favourites. So if you want to hear about that, you can hear about that over there. But so far it was pretty good, this one. The book I am currently reading is called Dark Places by Gillian Flynn, and she's the lady who wrote Gone Girl, which you probably all heard about. And this is kind of like another murder mystery, quite dark. Um, I finished reading it yesterday and I really enjoyed it. Going into the smaller pockets now, I have my sunglasses. 
some reason I've stopped putting them in a case, which is probably really bad, but you know when you've had sunglasses so long that you kind of just don't care about them anymore? That's so really bad. bad. I'm I sorry, keep, I keep mine in a case. This is my little case. Had this forever. It was in our last video. It was like $2 from Common On. And then my glasses are also from Common On. Swag. It's really dark now. Yeah. <laughs> also have my phone. My phone 5S with a like military tested droppable case thing. I don't know. Just thought it would keep it safe. And it hasn't smashed yet, so that's good. Had it nearly two years. I have my phone, which is better than Mine Tara's phone. Mine looks so much smaller. Mine's a Samsung Galaxy Note 4, and it's kind of massive, and it's got this um, fake Marc Jacobs case on the back. And I, I, this is a recent purchase. I've only had it for probably like three months, I think and I really like it. I've fallen in love with the Android software. It just looks really pretty. Can we just do a close-up of my homepage? Because I'm really proud of my designs. Look she spent that. like over a day sorting out this homepage. Um, the app I used, just for anyone who wants to know, is the Buzz Launcher, and I also used the app Hipster Wallpapers, because I am a hipster. <coughs> Wanna be? I also have my lipstick with me. Today I'm wearing the Rimmel 101. Um, which used to be one of my favourite lipsticks and I hadn't worn it for ages and I just started again in the last week or so and I'm like why did I stop? It smells so good, it goes with everything. Like seriously. Oh, that does smell good. Mm -hmm. Do you not have a makeup bag? No. Oh my gosh, this is the first. Sometimes I do, but I just couldn't be bothered. So my makeup bag is the little gift with purchase that Estee Lauder did a few weeks ago. Um, inside here, I have a lot of lipsticks. I was looking at this earlier and I was like, wow. Um, Lipstick bag. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Five lip products. So Do my Jordana Tawny Lip Liner, which is my fave. My Tony Bro Lip Gloss in the color Chic. Baby Lips, random color. Jordana, I think it's nude, yep, nope, nude lipstick. And the one I'm wearing, the one I'm wearing today, which is the Maybelline Color Drama Lip Pencil. And I just like a lot of lip options in my bag and I'm too lazy to take them out. I have some hand sanitizer, other things of interest. A mirror. A padlock, gym people will understand that. Oh, that's what I want to talk about. This Australis powder, um, it's the one I use on the go because it looks like an ordinary powder. Powder? Powder. It looks like an ordinary powder, but bam, it's got a little sponge and a mirror in there, so it's really good um, coverage for touching up during the day as well. So I also have keys in my bag. It's got like my ID card and my hot card, and recently this Christmas I bought myself <laughs> uh, I bought myself a little Stormtrooper Lego keyring, and it's got like a little light. Ooh, look, lens flare. Ooh, Ooh fancy. And that's it for our video today. We hope you enjoyed looking inside our handbags. Ooh, what was that? Ooh, I found my pin! Ah. <laughs> I was looking for that. All right, now we're finished. <laughs> so that was what was in our bags. We hope you enjoyed the video. Leave us a comment if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see from us. And we will see you next time. Bye! Oh, there's mints in the bottom of my bag. Do like, you want a bag mint? <laughs> Ew! I think this was accidentally open. I'll just put them in there, they'll be fine. <laughs> Ew. Only, only we know, so. I thought I had a pen in here, but I've just found more mints. I got from eBay for like, foin, foin. Foin. That's a, that's an intestine. <laughs> Thanks for that, Tara. <laughs> Saints with Tara. Hey guys. My name's Marty the Elephant, I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a zebra. <laughs> it's embarrassing.